What are people's biggest fear in the quarantine? And no, it's not food. It's not social isolation. It is losing your gains. You spent years in the gym trying to get in shape and then all of a sudden you're struggling because you can't get access to resistance kit that you've been using for years. That's a problem. But I have a solution for it and that solution comes in our little friend there, the kettlebell. Simply because kettlebells are efficient, easy to use and they don't take up a lot of space. You can get a used kettlebell for £15 on eBay or a new one for £30. So you can have a half a million pound gym or you can have a £30 kettlebell and you ain't not gonna get the same results, but you can get relative ones for the amount of money you invest. So I'm gonna show you a kettlebell workout that's gonna keep your body lean. You're gonna preserve your muscle. You're potentially gonna gain some muscle as well. So with this routine, we are doing our three compound movements. We're doing our bench, we're doing our squat, we're doing a deadlift. Then we also have, because I like to treat you, you're gonna do some shoulder press and you're gonna do some rows as well. Three compound movements, two other movements to fill in. So bench press is gonna be slightly closer grip than what you're used to, but it is the only alternative we had. You're gonna work in a chest, you're gonna work triceps, still hitting the chest, just a little bit closer. Here we go. So now the big deltoids, kneeling down, vertical shoulder press like that with the kettlebell. Time for lead back. That is it, we're doing rows with the kettlebell. Again, it's gonna be a close grip. Doesn't matter, you're gonna get the gains all the same. So that's the fun part done. The upper body is complete. Now we've got deadlifts and squats. Now I know a lot of you have beaten Eddie Hall's 500 kilo record and we've only got a 20 kilo kettlebell. So you're gonna make it work. But remember, slow it down and squeeze it and you can make that 20 kilo feel like 200. Try it, nice and slow. The last and final exercise, as I said, is deadlifts. Same principle as the squats, slow and steady. There is no reward for finishing early, except bitter disappointment. Remember, pick it up nice and slow, proper form. We don't have back to go. That's the thing with deadlifts, you can get carried away and rush them. Then we get injured and it's painful. There you have it, a full body kettlebell workout. You've hit chest, you've hit shoulders, you've hit back, you've done lower back, you've done legs, you've done everything you need to do in the simplest possible manner. Again, and I love the word simple because it doesn't convolute it down. You're not getting loads of equipment, you're getting one kettlebell. I can do a whole body resistance workout efficiently and get results with one bit of kit. Now, if that isn't magic, I don't know what is. Yes, they might be a little bit expensive. Yes, it is an investment but sometimes you have to invest in yourself. We want things for free, but sometimes if you know where to invest correctly, you'll get maximum results from it. 30 quid is not a bad price for it. You're gonna get a full workout, a full resistance workout for 30 quid. That's a month's gym membership. And let's face it, if it's frozen, you ain't paying it this month anyway. So that's free. You're basically paying what you would do anyway. So the only thing left to do is get motivated. Put on some music that you enjoy. Get the TV playing with a festival that you wish you could go to. Anything that gets you in the spirit to exercise and exercise well. It's not about just showing up. It's about doing the bits. So do the bits, get the job done.
get the gains. Catch you later.